Hey everyone, this video is for anybody who's interested in developing their own blocks and working with Blockly and working on improving that system. So what I've tried to do is we're going to basically start from scratch. Um, I've got a blank computer. We're going to pretend my name here is Parallax Blockhead and we're just going to dive right into it. The way we're going to develop Blockly is we're going to use the offline app. So the first place we're going to do, or we're going to go to, we're actually going to go to the forms. So let's go to forms.parallax.com. And if we scroll down a little ways here, under learn with Blockly Prop, there's instructions for running Blockly Prop offline. So you'll want to look for this first. And Sorry, I apologize. This is buried a little bit. I'll try to provide this link um, a little better once we maybe get this video published in the in the comments for the video or the description for the video. But look for this post here. Um, today is August 1st. So look for an August 1st post or August 2nd. And you're looking for this link. And this link is going to allow us to download. So we don't want to preview it. We just want to download it. This is going to download kind of the core of the offline Blockly Prop app. So this is what we need to get started. I apologize, it looks like it's gonna take just a little bit here. Close some of these other tabs that we don't need. And while we're waiting for that, we'll also need Symbol IDE. So I'm gonna start that up too. And download this anyway it should be safe it, I just uploaded it so it's probably why it's throwing this warning okay we'll come back to that a little later let's go to simple IDE and this is what we want we actually want it to create a, a workspace if you're opening simple IDE for the first time we want to create a workspace inside so your users and then your username the documents and simple IDE this is the standard path and the offline Blockly prop is going to use files inside of here so this is what we want I wouldn't change this um, if we want to <clears throat> if we want to try to develop this normally so this will take a little while because it's going to create some folders so now that that's running the next thing we need to actually do is we need to go to a place called nwjs.io. This is nwjs stands for Node WebKit. Okay, thank you, Simple IDE. We'll minimize you and come back to you later. This stands for Node WebKit, and this allows us to run. HTML and JavaScript applications as applications. <clears throat> we don't need the SDK version, we just need the normal one. So we're going to click the normal button here. And it's getting this for our operating system. If you want to pick which one, like Windows or a different version of Windows, you can click Downloads right here and it'll take you to a page with, with the entire list. So I want to save the file for this as well and get the zip. So now it's just finishing up, but let's go to our downloads folder. So inside of downloads, we have the developer folder here. Let's open that up first. So it's extracting that. And what I'm going to do is I want to move this. So let's create another find. Let's open up another finder window. So go um, file new finder window and if you're on Windows hopefully this is all fairly parallel and you're able to translate this too so opening a new Explorer window in Windows and go to your documents folder and let's create a folder called projects inside of that let's create a new folder called blockly prop 
uh, let's call it block the prompt dash developer. And I name it that because that's what I've based a lot of the documentation on. So oop, <laughs> never mind, it's, it's right here. Um, so let me just delete this one that I just created and drag this one from right here. So there we go. Now we have inside of projects the Blockly Prop Developer. Now let's go back to Downloads and open up the NWJS folder. If you open this up, there is this guy right here for Mac. It's a little bit different for Windows. Inside of here there's going to be a, a folder for uh, that just says NWJS instead. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. Let's go edit copy NWJS. Let's go inside the developer thing here and we're just going to paste it just inside of this Blockly Prop developer folder. Um, for Windows you're going to instead of this um, dot app thing that Macs have you're going to do the same with um, it's just going to be an NWJS folder. Okay we'll come back to that and then inside of here you'll notice there's a readme.txt. Let's open that up. So I do apologize, please uh, bear with me as I sort of fudge through some of this stuff. So, um, oops, this is the wrong README. So I'll get that corrected and reposted here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, create a new text file. So um, I have gedit here where you can use um, Another one that might be even a little better on a Mac is text edit. If you're in Windows, you want notes. Um, actually, in Windows, the process is a little bit different. So I'm going to show the process for a Mac here. Um, and for Windows, the correct README will actually display the um, kind of the step by step how to create a shortcut that's ultimately going to open this up for you. Um, but what we're creating here is we're creating a bash script that will allow us to just have an icon that we can double click and open up the app um, quite easily. All right, so I downloaded the correct version and if you just double click the README here, there's some important information in here that will help us get started. So the first thing we need to do is download Simple IDE and w, or NWJS, and we've done both of those. We're going to come back to this Visual Studio Code. We're going to download and install that too. And then we're going to create a folder inside your documents called Projects, and then a folder inside that called Blockly Prop Developer, and that's done. And then we've got the contents of that Blockly Prop Developer folder ready to go as well, and we've moved the NWJS app into the folder. So now, if you have Windows, go ahead and follow the finishing the installation here for Windows. Um, it's actually a little easier than on the Mac. If you have a Mac, you're going to follow these instructions. So we're going to open text edit and create a new file. <clears throat> then we're going to go paste this, or sorry, convert it to plain text by clicking format and plain text, make plain text, and then paste that in. And let me go back to my instructions here. Okay, we're going to save the file. And we're going to leave the extension off. We're going to call it Blockly Prop App. It'll just be a way for us to do this. And we're going to do this inside of, um, um, we're going to leave it inside of documents. We're going to have to move it later. So um, we'll uncheck this to make sure it doesn't add an extension to it. And click Save. So I'm going to close that. I'll leave my instructions here open because we'll need those in just a second. So let me go back to my documents. Lost track of which one we are in here. So documents. So let's copy this and we'll paste it in here. Go back and delete the original since we so we don't get confused.
And now with this app, what we will do is we'll go to a terminal. So let me get a terminal going. And we want to get to that. <coughs> oh, bless me. I'm just going to copy this text and I'm going to paste that. And run it. Hopefully it did what we needed it to do. Now if we go back to the finder. And it looks like we have an app. So we look like we're in pretty good shape if we've got Simple IDE installed and MWJS installed and the source is all inside of here. If I double click this, then we're in business. Now we've got the offline app up and running. And so that's, that's basically it. You can go do new project. I can get this started here. And here it looks like we have a good test of this actually to make sure everything's up and running and, and proper is go ahead and drag out a terminal print text and then click the check mark. And if it says compile successfully, you're doing great. If not, I'm actually going to quit this. And I'm going to close my terminal. I'm going to close this terminal window too. There are some instructions, for instance, so um, setting the compile and library paths here. If it doesn't compile correctly, there's some more information here about what file you can edit to get those set up properly. Now, what we want to do next is we want to get the latest sources for things. So let's start with the, the simple IDE sources. We'll go back to Firefox and we're going to go to github.com slash parallax inc. Inside of here, there's a couple of important um, repositories. The first one we care most about is simple libraries, but if you if you scroll down, you can see these are the two we're actually going to need the most. It's blockliprop-cdn and the simple libraries. These will be the two repositories so where we'll get the latest sources. So let's start with simple libraries. And we want to switch to the demo branch, because that's the branch that has the, the most updated and verified code that we're using to test upcoming blocks, everything in it. And then what goes to demo eventually goes into the Blockly prop branch. If you, want, if you want the stable, you can grab the Blockly prop branch, but demo is actually usually a little bit ahead of that. So what we're going to do then is we're going to clone or download. We'll download the zip. Okay, let's open that up. And now we have Simple Libraries demo. You can grab this learn folder right here. And I'm going to copy it. So edit, copy, learn. And now let's go back to documents, Simple IDE. Let's actually move this one to the trash. Um, you can rename it, move it somewhere else if you want to preserve it. And I'm going to paste in the learn folder from demo. All right, this will give me the most current libraries so that when I run the compiler, I'm, I'm running libraries that, for instance, just to give you an example, if I go to display here, this libLCD parallel is brand new. Um, it's, it's not any, inside anything that's been published elsewhere yet. So just to, to show that this is, this is in fact like probably one of the more cutting edge um, branches of the repository. And we'll back out of here. And then the other place we can grab the most current sources is if we go back to Parallax Inc. here and Like I said, the Blockly Prop CDN folder here has 
um, this is where the where the code that contains the actual block definitions and everything are and you want to switch to the branch with the highest number so there's a 100 and a 101 um, 101 being the higher number and then when we do the next push up to Blockly we'll start a 102 branch and so you grab from that and again we want to clone or download this so we want to download the zip Again, that's downloading. So we go here. Inside of this folder, oops, I guess I just want, I want the contents of this entire folder. So I'm going to select all and copy those. And then I'm going to go back to my documents, to my projects, and this folder called source we're actually going to paste into here. So I'm going to select all, move to trash, and paste these ones back in. So this is, this is what goes inside of this folder, and this is kind of the core of what's happening with Blockly. So now we've got a completely up-to-date app. In the next video, what we'll do is we'll show you how to link this up with Visual Studio Code and set up a, a GitHub account where you can fork versions of these repositories and actually code them yourself. And then if you're, if you're making really good progress or would like to work with us on this, then we'll show you how you can um, sort of join the development effort and use the, use the offline app when you open this up to, to test your changes, to see them, and to, to submit them. So hopefully this was a, a helpful video, and we'll catch you in the next one.